Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. I am the King Fan Man, and I have something a little different for you today. Call it speculation, or even a new Starfield conspiracy theory, or just call it having a little fun with some crazy info. Whatever you want to call it, I do have some very cool new info about Fallout 76 and a possible tie-in to Starfield. First, let me start by reminding you what we all know about Starfield, or maybe I should say what we don't know. Starfield is a trademark secured by ZeniMax, Bethesda's corporate head, all the way back in 2013. And this trademark has been updated and expanded many times, and it's been very active of late. They've added a mobile game and tons and tons of merchandise to the trademark. In fact, it was just updated again just a little over a week ago. But with all that activity by ZeniMax, it is still debated what Starfield even is. Is it a Bethesda Game Studios game, like most people think? Or is it a code name for another game? Or maybe it's even a game from one of the other studios published by Bethesda. Now, we've also had several teases by Bethesda about Starfield even going back a year, which Bethesda loves to tease its upcoming games. One such example is Bethesda teasing the new Wolfenstein game at E3 a whole year before it was announced. Well, many say that Bethesda's E3 theme last year was a tease about Starfield. And really, there's not any good reason to have stars in a spaceship in the backdrop. Just recently, Bethesda changed the backdrop of their online store to a Starfield. And right now, outside of the E3 location, Bethesda has an advertisement for Fallout 76. You know, the one on the three buildings? And it's very suspicious that in the background, behind the middle vault boy, is a black field with white dots. Is it a star field? Are they trolling us? Or are they continuing to tease this mysterious game, Starfield? Well, one wouldn't normally expect to see a field of stars in a location like that. Okay, but all that is old news. I was just getting everyone up to date. So what's the new news? Well, I found another possible connection to Starfield, or at least space, with Fallout 76. Now, this is where you need to put on your tinfoil hat, because we're going to go deep into conspiracy theory mode. In Fallout 3's DLC, Mothership Zeta, there is actually another reference to Vault 76. Now, we already talked about the computer at the Citadel, the Brotherhood of Steel's headquarters in Fallout 3, that had a lot of info on Vault 76. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it at the end. But in this DLC, Mothership Zeta, there is a tape. I'll let you hear it in just a second. But it's from a Vault Tech inspector who was inspecting the construction of Vault 76. During that very inspection while at Vault 76, he was abducted by aliens. What? A guy at Vault 76 got taken into space by aliens? Hey now, no reason to get yourselves worked up. Whatever you need, I'm going to tell it to you. Well, I'm pretty sure you want me to talk into this thing, so here goes. My name is Giles Walstoncroft. I'm the current Assistant Chief Executive Officer of the Vault Tech Corporation. I was inspecting the construction site of Vault 76 when I was captured what I can only assume are alien beings from another world. I'm not sure what they want from me or what they will do to me. Whatever they need, I will readily provide. Perhaps I can bridge our communication gap and establish a rapport with them. We can enter into an exclusive trade agreement. In fact, instead of talking to this damn machine, I'm going to attempt to address them directly. On behalf of the vault -Tec Corporation, like to extend a heartfelt welcome to you. Wait, you don't need that. Wait. Now, before we speculate on what this might mean in regards to Starfield, let me remind you of what Mothership Zeta is about. It is about the lone wanderer, or the player's character in Fallout 3, being abducted to this alien mothership from Zeta, obviously. And as the ship is far above the Earth, in the stars, the lone wanderer meets many others who were abducted. One such abductee was this vault Tech employee who was at Vault 76 when he was taken by these aliens. So, fellow conspiracy theorists, 
What could this mean? Could this be a tie-in to Starfield? Well, let's speculate for a moment. What, if anything, could this mean in regards to Starfield? Well, could Starfield be a part of Fallout 76 with this huge tie-in to Fallout 3? Remember, we saw several tie-ins to Fallout 3, most likely because of its 10th anniversary, like the date on the Pip-Boy in the Fallout 76 trailer being the same date as Fallout 3's first release. So could Starfield be a quest in Fallout 76? Could it be a DLC in Fallout 76? Or could Starfield simply be the code name for Fallout 76? Or let's go deeper into speculation, or maybe put a bigger tinfoil hat on. Could Starfield actually be another game, just like many think, but could it actually be set in the Fallout universe? And maybe even the Zetans, or however you say people from Zeta, being an actual race in that game? That would be another very cool salute to Fallout 3's anniversary. And hey, maybe that's the reason we see stars behind the Vault Boy on the building at E3. Okay, take off your tinfoil hats and let's get real. The possibilities and speculation for Starfield are all over the place. You ask 10 people, you get 10 different answers. And I don't know if this info helped or just muddied the water a little bit more, but I knew I had to share it with you. What a cool story, but strange story. Tell me what you think about this. Does it mean anything? Well, I hope you enjoyed this little fun trip into space and the realm of conspiracy speculation. I'm so glad you stopped by the King's Corner today and had a little fun with me. If you're not subscribed, you better hit that button. If you don't, the mothership's going to abduct you. <laughs> I am the King Fan Man, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>